It is the Savage Nation. I would say this is one of the most difficult shows of my 20-year career. There is so much horror in the world right now that it is difficult even for me to balance the act. And let me tell you something. It's bad enough that two subhuman Palestinians with axes and knives and guns hacked to death four unarmed Israelis during a morning prayer service. It's bad enough that the subhumans did that. But what's even more insulting and more difficult for me personally to bear was the speech by the demonic president of the United States of America. And I choose my words very carefully. I don't know what it's going to take for Jewish liberal voters in America to awaken to the fact that they are not represented by the Democrat Party. They're not represented by Barack Obama. If you listen to the speech of Hussein Obama, where he doesn't say Palestinians did this, and he not once says Jews were butchered, instead he uses the moral equivalency of the academic left. The moral equivalency of the academic left, which is being used in Ferguson, Missouri, where the thuggish thief is being compared, morally compared, with the police officer who fought for his life. Wherever you turn, the illegitimate academic left has perverted the language and perverted morality itself. So listen now to the deceitful snake in clip three. I just make mention of the horrific attacks that took place uh, in Jerusalem. Attack? Uh, we know that two attackers sent attackers, not Palestinians. Attack. Uh, innocent worshippers in a synagogue Not you. Uh, during their morning prayers. Obviously, we condemn in the strongest terms these attacks. Uh, a number of people Attack. were wounded uh, and four people were killed, including three American citizens. If you deconstruct what the snake just said, you have to ask yourself, how much, how much more does he have to do until he finally tells you, in no uncertain terms, that he's for the other side. I mean, what 